Hello everybody, I'm just some random guy on the internet and I've been awake for two and a half days. And that's why I was just having a really rough night, so I figured I would turn the camera on and kind of share it with you. We're going to talk about insomnia. So depending on how you look at it, there are four or five different types of insomnia. There's acute, onset, chronic, behavioral, and maintenance. I mean, they all range on depending on it, how you can initiate sleep, if you can stay away or stay asleep, or, you know, uh, if it lasts for only a certain amount of days. Um, acute insomnia, say, you get, you have that, that's from, like, maybe you move apartments or, you know, you're having a rough time at the, at the job or some shit, you're just stressed as fuck. And one more thing about acute insomnia, it only lasts maybe, like, two to three weeks, but, uh, then, then you amp it up. A little bit longer and you have chronic insomnia and you only have chronic you're not considered chronic unless you have it more than three times a week for I think over three months yeah but with chronic insomnia it can last for a long period of time and then go away or it could last a lifetime and they don't really know what causes it but most of the time it's depression and anxiety and stress which I account for all three of those in spades. Then you get to onset insomnia. Onset insomnia is just, you know, the lack of being able to get to sleep, to initiate sleep. Uh, you can have insomnia without not sleeping, I guess. Onset insomnia is just like you lay in there and you have a little less re restless leg syndrome. And, you know, but eventually you do get, you do get to sleep, and then you then you have maintenance insomnia. Maintenance insomnia is the complete opposite of that. It's where you can initiate sleep, but you can't maintain the sleep. You wake you wake up really easily. Uh, I think I have a mix of chronic and maintenance, but I think that's just because I can't. I am a really light sleeper, and. There's also the behavioral insomnia of childhood, which is kind of a strange one. It 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 affects like 25% of all children, which uh, is actually kind of high. But um, most of the time, it involves the child's refusal to go to bed, or you know, negative associations with sleep, and that can cause them to uh, not sleep. It it's basic common sense, people. Um. So, just just as a little note here, you can't die from insomnia or sleep deprivation because if you get to a point to where your body or brain just cannot function, you will blink and go to sleep. That's that's it. Like you can't you can't do it without medication. You'll last maybe you can last maybe 48 hours, maybe a little bit longer, but it's going to be hell on your mind. Um, I can already tell you within it's usually about 27 hours, 28 hours that I start getting, um, I, I start having problems in the daytime. Uh, you know, when, when you don't, when you don't sleep, your mind just starts becoming a big fuzz. It just becomes a, you know, moss, basically. <laughs> um, you know, it just, it, do, it, it doesn't work as fast. But uh, most of the time, and say with me, if you'll pay a little bit more attention in my videos, sometimes in my earlier videos, um, I would be hearing noises in the background. And sometimes it would be the animals or whatnot, but sometimes it's just me being paranoid because I just hear shit. And that's because I just have had a very fucking bad week. A lot of, a lot of the times... Uh, you can see stuff. Uh, a lot of people think that you can have hallucinations from uh, doing this, and you can to an extent, but it's most of the time just like shit that you see out of the corner of your eyes. It's not like you're seeing shadow people. I'm sure the longer that you go without sleep, the more the more extreme it gets. Um, I've never really gone that long. I've the, long, the longest I have ever gone is about three and a half days, and at that and at that point, you or you've got like short-term memory, and you you you're just kind of like hearing shit in the back, you know, in the back of your head. It's really uncomfortable, but it's manageable. Um, the world record for staying awake is 11 days, which is roughly 264 hours, 
I think. Somebody want, if somebody wants to correct me on my math, go ahead. I don't give a shit. The risk and side effects of insomnia, there's really not just a whole lot other than just like being confused all the time or, you know, you really shouldn't drive because, you know, sleep. It's just something you need to drive. But uh, there are, for people with chronic insomnia, there is a lot of mental health that can, um, it can degrade your mind, especially if you don't get enough sleep. Um, it, it, you know, with, with say like acute insomnia, you can become, you know, slightly moody and whatnot, but you can, you can actually gain, you know, behavioral issues, you know, like, uh, I don't know, fucking... I wouldn't say personality, but you can become slightly bipolar with, you know, mood. Your, your mood can get so extreme and go from one to another. You can become bipolar because of that shit. I wouldn't say you can become bipolar, but you can get bipolar tendencies from it. But you have, you're at higher risk for mental health conditions, and it's really like, it, it really affects your depression. Um, I naturally just have a lot of low uh, dopamine. I think it's dopamine. Whatever the happy juice in your brain is, I have a lack of it, I guess. But I don't generally feel happy. But most of the time, it's um, most of the time it's just because I don't sleep just a whole lot. So that shit sucks. So yeah, just make sure you get a better uh, routine. Um, there is a lot of there's a lot of ways to 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 deal with it. You can take melatonin. Um, you can try different sleep, sleep routines, schedules, I mean, turn, turn the fucking TV off, you don't need it, you know, just crank the air condition on, I don't know, man. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because I was having a real rough night and I just figured I would start, you know, explaining a little bit about why insomnia is just a real shit thing. Have a great day.